All right, so today I have another box of ball python eggs that are hatching. It's another bamboo clutch. And let me tell you, this year I had so many eggs that had the possibility of getting some bamboos like Bobby here around my shoulders. This is Bobby, my bamboo, just a, one single gene of a bamboo in the snake. And everybody wants a little baby Bobby. Everyone wants a bamboo. And of course, the year that I have like tons and tons of bamboo eggs, I am being crushed by the odds. I think I had probably at least 20 eggs that I cut already. And I think I only got two visual bamboos that look like Bobby and then one other one that was a bamboo calico and other than that I've been missing the odds I got a whole bunch of calicos whole bunch of lessers a whole bunch of other snakes and some a whole bunch of normals too that everything except the bamboos I got a few blue-eyed leucistics too which is the bamboo mixed with the lesser to make the all-white snake with the blue eyes but not a lot of bamboo so I'm hoping on this clutch I'll actually hit some visual bamboos for those guys that have been asking for bamboos I have so many people I can't even do like a waiting list because I have so many people that want just the bamboos and after this box I'll have one more box of eggs kind of at the end of the egg cutting season that contains bamboos hopefully between these two boxes we will actually hit some visual bamboos so let's pull this box of eggs out of the incubator the first thing I want to show you is I want to show you the parents essentially what this is this is a bamboo calico crossed with a normal pretty simple pairing I was actually hoping for more bamboos and more bamboo calicos in this so you know statistically we should actually get 50% bamboos or bamboo calicos and the rest should be either calicos or normals and hopefully the odds will actually flip compared to what I've been getting in the last few clutches so let's pull those eggs out and check them out all right, so I wanted to show you the parents real quick and take a look at this. This is actually the bamboo with the calico gene. And kind of the funny thing about this is if you actually look at some of the hatchlings that I produce, they're not really that impressive as hatchlings. And as they age and mature, the whites get brighter and brighter and brighter. It gets really high contrast and it gets more and more impressive. And it's kind of interesting to look at the different genes and the combinations and how they age and mature. You know, some of them like the, uh, I'd say like the bananas and the corn coral glows they can kind of I'd say I'd say in most cases the bananas and the coral glows they look a lot better as hatchlings than they do as adults and this is completely the opposite whereas a hatchling it doesn't look as good as you don't look at how beautiful that is a really awesome pattern and awesome color on this one this guy is pretty big believe it or not this is actually one of Bobby's direct offspring and now Bobby's pretty much retired in front of the camera for YouTube and then this guy is is kind of his reply placement as a breeder. As a matter of fact, I actually produced another bamboo combination this year, which is a bamboo pastel pinstripe calico that will actually eventually replace this one. So it's essentially this with the lemon blast mixed into a four gene combination that I had out last year. Not quite big enough to breed this year, but it's going to be a really powerful breeder. I absolutely love these bamboo combinations. All right, so I thought I'd show you the, the female. This is actually just a normal wild type ball python. This is about as normal as you can get. I think this is the normalest looking normal that I have in my collection. No patterns or colors or anything that really shows that it's anything but a normal. And believe it or not, I actually got this one for free on Craigslist. When I first started in ball pythons, someone had advertised a hatchling over on Craigslist. Didn't know if it was a male or a female, but it was free, so I drove down to Denver and actually picked it up, and to my surprise, it was a female, and it was one of my very first ball pythons. So this one kind of has sentimental value, I guess, since it's one of my very first snakes. I probably won't ever sell this one. Her name is Sunshine. All right, so if you're wondering the name of my bamboo calico, that male, his name is actually Slinky. I don't know if I've ever told anyone on YouTube that snake's name. All my snakes have names, and as soon as they hatch out of the eggs, I usually give all my hatchlings names. So this is bamboo calico crossed with that normal number one. Let's see what we have. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh. Uh, take a look at this. We have a few that are out looks like we have one bad egg again so it's kind of interesting with these bad eggs 
that I've had quite a few. Uh, I'd say maybe about five or six that go bad in the incubation box, which is really unusual. Of course, this year I've had so many eggs. I've had more eggs, I think, this year than any other year. I think I had 114 eggs this year, which is kind of crazy. So take a look at that with a really bad egg. I'm not even gonna cut that egg because I know for sure that that one's definitely a goner. So it looks like, just by looking at these, it looks like we have, uh, looks like this one is a calico, maybe. Oh, this is, I thought this was two snakes. This is just one really big long one. Uh, maybe it's not a calico. I was kind of looking at the color on the side, but this just looks like a normal, just a straight normal. Got a little bit of vermiculite on there. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes the, sometimes the calicos can kind of trick you. Usually with the calicos, it kind of opens up the alien heads and you don't get so many. Of the You see the kind of the, the alien heads with the eyes on the sides. Usually if you have the calico, it get rid, gets rid of the eyes and then kind of opens up the pattern. And the calico also gives it more of a kind of a, almost like the, the kind of like a reddish brown color, almost like a coppery color. So that is, I think this is just a normal ball python. Hey, take a look at that. It looks like we have two bamboos right there sticking their head up. The other one just stuck his head up. That's pretty awesome. Then we have this one right here. This one is obviously another normal. Take a look at that one kind of sticking his head out. How cute is that? <laughs> That's pretty cute. Cute little snake going back in. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually gonna cut him uh, all the way out. Just kind of help him out. I like to kind of cut him a little bit. <laughs> He's going all the way back in. All right, so we're gonna start with this one. I'm just gonna cut this one open. We already know what this one is. Obviously, that's a normal. And then with three genes, I think the odds of getting a normal are like one in eight. So getting two in a clutch like this is kind of, kind of normal to get a couple normals in a clutch with only three genes. So, yeah, that is one big slimy mess right there. All right, so, looks like we have two normals. This one is completely out. So we have, looks like we have four more eggs over here. Let me kind of rearrange these a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna start with uh, one of these bamboos. I know it's a bamboo for sure. I'm kind of curious to see if we can see if it's a bamboo calico or just a straight bamboo. Finally getting some bamboos and some better odds on these snake eggs. I've just been getting some really bad odds. I had one clutch where it was, uh, the odds were like one in 16 of getting a normal and I actually got three of them in that clutch. Oh, that was unbelievable. With four possible genes, I got three normals, which is unbelievable. All right, so I just want to kind of peek in this one. And kind of the interesting thing, I don't know if you've noticed on Bobby, uh, the, one, the snake that I have around my neck, but uh, the alien heads kind of turn into little hearts on the side of the snake. So if he has anything except little hearts, it's probably a calico. Look, he's got a little heart right there. <laughs> you can see that little heart right there. Uh, this is just a straight bamboo. Nice. Another little bobby baby. And usually with the, um, with the calico and with the bamboo, you don't get those little hearts in there on the side of the snake. So that one, I'm confident that's just a straight bamboo. And we are getting kind of messy here. Let's see if I get another paper towel. All right, so let's take a look at this one. This is another, it looked like a bamboo sticking out. I'm curious to see if this one has calico in it or not. Oh, I can't believe I've been crushed by the odds this year. It's kind of funny, my very first year in ball pythons, I had so many good odds. It was unbelievable. I had all the odds, like odds that you wouldn't believe. I did a bunch of scaleless head stuff. My very first year hit some pretty amazing odds. And this one looks like another, just another straight bamboo. Take a look at that one. Beautiful little bamboo hatchling right there. 
That's pretty awesome. All right. We could definitely use a couple more bamboos. I know a lot of people have been wanting bamboos. All right, so we have two more eggs. Maybe we can hit some better odds and hit some better... Some more bamboos would be nice, or bamboo calicos. All right, so this one is gonna be really messy because it's not cut at all. Usually when you cut them for the, for the very first time, they're not cut by the hatchling. They, they get a lot of a lot of goop running out of them. They get really super slimy. All right, let's see if I can start this here. Some people like use uh, like a razor blade. I like to use kind of the blunt scissors, so it's you know you don't really risk anything. Wow, that looks like another bamboo. That one. Uh. Or I can't tell if that's calico. I think that is. <laughs> that's pretty messy in there. That one kind of looks. Ah, I think that's a bamboo calico right there. That one's pretty messy. <laughs> All right, that's nice. Another bamboo combination. Wow. So we actually had three bamboos, and we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs. So if this is a bamboo, that'll be pretty awesome. Potentially it could be another bamboo. Oh, I can't believe that last clutch when we had like <laughs> no bamboos and then we had a whole bunch of uh, mostly uh, calicos. I have a whole bunch of calicos, which is kind of crazy. All right, so I got a bunch of goop on my hands here. This is getting kind of messy. All right, so this is the last egg. Wish me luck on this one. We'll see if there's a bamboo in this one. And then there's one more one more box of bamboos after this, which is pretty cool. Of course, that won't be probably for another month. That's like at the end, at the bottom of my... Oh, let's see, not a bamboo on this one. And... Let's see. Boy, that one looks like looks like just a uh, normal. I'd say that is probably just a normal on that one. Which is pretty crazy because uh we didn't get any calicos, just straight calicos. The last batch I think I had like six calicos on that one, which is pretty crazy. Oh, that is really slimy. All right, so I'm not even gonna cut that last egg. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take that egg out. Uh, it seems like all the eggs that got really bad like that, I've, every single one I cut open and it never fully develops. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna take it out right now. I always cut these off camera because uh, it's not really even worth cutting them on camera. At this point, I've cut so many bad ones like that that it's almost not even worth cutting those, which is, I don't know what's going on with those just random eggs that don't develop, which is kind of unfortunate, but that is what we got. So it looks like two bamboos, a bamboo calico, and uh, what else did we get? Two normals, three normals, three normals on that one, which is, Unbelievable. So this is this, well. These are actually possible het desert ghosts too, because the uh, uh, the the bamboo calico, the calico actually came from a female that we proved was het for desert ghost. Now I'm not sure if that male bamboo calico is. It's actually a 50% het for desert ghost. So these are possible het for desert ghost. It keeps getting diluted further and further down. So there might be a possibility. I always, uh, I always like to keep track of it and kind of put it on the hatchlings until I prove things out that it's possible. And then uh, if it's if I actually prove out that that, uh, that bamboo calico is not het desert ghost, then I usually tell people that I sold the snakes to that uh, I proved it out and it's probably not het for desert ghost, but I don't really know at this point. 
So there you have it. So I think the next box is looks like about a week away. And it's, it's kind of funny. I've been cutting eggs every single day. <laughs> if you've been watching my YouTube channel, it's like every single day I have a box of eggs that's hatching. And now it's like, I think we have like four or five more boxes in the incubator. The last one's going to hatch in the middle of, to the end of September. So pretty late into the season. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.